Hi everyone, I'm Mara Schiavocampo with NBC News and I'm so sorry that I can't be there with you today, but I'm going to try my best to answer some of these questions. So the first one, how did you get started? Well, I got a pretty traditional start. I got my master's degree in broadcast journalism and that's where I learned the building blocks of what I'm doing now, which is shooting and editing and reporting. And from there I got an entry level uh, producing job at CBS News in New York. After that, I got a couple of reporting jobs in the uh, New York City area, reporting for MTVU, which is MTV's College Network, and ABC News Now, which is ABC's um, broadband channel, as well as a local station. And they were great opportunities, and I learned a lot, but none of them was the right fit for me because I knew that I really wanted to travel and I really wanted to do international work. So ultimately, I decided to quit my job and to start traveling and to try my hand as a freelance reporter. Um, it really was scary, and at the same time, it wasn't scary because I was leaving uh, my job and I was leaving the comfort of knowing that I had a job to go to, but at the same time, I felt like it was a win-win, that if I failed, I wouldn't come back less experienced. At the very least, I would have learned something. So I tried my hand at freelancing, and much to my surprise, it went pretty well. I was able to sell my work, I was traveling a lot, and I was doing everything that I wanted to be doing. Because I was freelance, I couldn't afford a crew. That was never even a thought that crossed my mind. I just knew that if I was going to be able to do it and afford these trips, I would have to do everything on my own, from shooting to editing to reporting, uh, et cetera. And so that's how I started as a digital journalist. It was completely by accident. I had no foresight. Uh, it was just out of necessity, and it was uh, due to following my ultimate goals. Well, increasingly, the difference between the two is actually shrinking because you're seeing kind of a merger between old school and new school. I think that's kind of where we're at right now. But generally speaking, traditional journalism um, involves different tools and involves much more uh, specialization in people's roles. So for example, you will have a team that is gathering a story and you'll have one person acting as a correspondent, one person acting as a field producer, uh, an editor back in the building somewhere who gets all that material once it comes in and cuts a piece. Uh, and on and on and on. In digital journalism, there's a whole lot more mushing together of roles and blurred lines. So you may have a correspondent that's also going to edit their piece. You may have a correspondent that's cutting their piece. You may have a producer that's uh, going to edit the piece or shoot the piece. You may have a camera person who's producing. So generally speaking, digital journalism is much more a mishmash of roles, um, and it's just kind of redefining the boundaries of what we've always done. Yes, there are increasingly opportunities in digital media. What we're seeing is that, number one, there are more outlets than ever before, and those outlets need content. It's a big beast to feed this media business. So there are newspapers that have websites with video on them. There are uh, TV channels that have websites that need exclusive video just for the web. I mean, there's so much out there. You've really seen a fragmentation of media, but what that means on the positive side is that there are a lot more places to put your content and a lot more ways to do a story. You know, you don't have to just do a text piece because it's for a newspaper. You could do a video piece for the newspaper's website. So there's just so much opportunity out there. There are so many different things going on. Um, I think one of the biggest problems that we are having as an industry is kind of trying to define roles and hire the right people for the right roles. But I do see things kind of stabilizing in the sense that I see people getting a better understanding of what it is they're looking for, what it is they need, uh, having potential employees better trained to meet those needs. So we're going to a place where things are not so crazy and everything's not so much up in the air, where you're, you're going to have roles that are clearly defined and you'll have people who are well trained to fit those roles. Now those roles may look a lot different than they used to, but they'll be redefined for this new time. So I think it's a great time to be uh, getting into digital journalism.